Welcome everyone to the Realtor Resource Podcast. This is the very first episode and I am super excited to have a great guest. We are starting off with a bang. Her name is Tyranny Jordan. She is a broker out of Dallas, Texas, and she is with the Tyranny Jordan Network. She is ranked in the top 1% of the nation in the U.S. and they sell over 200 homes a year. And thank you so much, Tierney, for joining us today on the podcast. Can everyone welcome Tierney to the podcast? Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Perfect. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So we're going to start off just by going into your background and how you started in real estate. So if you could just go into that for a little bit. So I've been in real estate since 1998. I started off investing in properties here and there. So while I was working full time, I invested in properties on the side. And then I decided that I really liked real estate and wanted to do it full time. So I left corporate America in 2005. I got my real estate sales license in 2006. And back then you only had to be selling homes under a brokerage for two years before you could get your brokerage. Your, your broker's license if you wanted to. So I got my broker's license in 2008 um, and have been running a team slash brokerage since then. So that's, that's my background. Nice. Perfect. So we're going to get into some questions about leads. I know a lot of realtors always want to know about leads, how people generate and convert leads. So you could go into how you generate your leads. So I saw the internet as an opportunity um, back in 2011 is when we started noticing that more people were going online and starting to search and um, not necessarily driving neighborhoods as much, you know, like really utilizing the online resource. So we ended up building our own platform our own lead generation platform. Um, and I hired, my first hire was actually a marketing person. And we generate our all of our own um, leads internally. Uh, we don't pay for leads through Zillow or any company like that. Um, we built a seller platform. So we have about 50,000 sellers and 50,000 buyers currently. Mm -hmm. um, in our system. So the majority of the stuff that we do to generate leads is online. Okay. Awesome. Online is definitely the future for sure. It's definitely. Yeah. Working. How do you convert the leads? Um, so the biggest thing through our generation, we get people who are pretty much interested. And the, the reason I say that is one, it's a keyword driven, lead to you so they they have to type in a specific keyword right get to your website then once they get to our website they have to play around first before we make them register once they've played around a little bit and they register and give us their information the conversion is a little bit easier because they've been through that process right yeah. but we have our scripts that we use and the main thing we want to find out is what's their current situation um, we want to know their motivation we want to know what they're looking for so we spend a good amount of time on the phone with them to make sure we understand exactly where they are and how we can help them so I think it comes down to one how you're getting the leads and two what's your conversation with them and of course knowing how to build rapport with people um there's a lot of stuff that goes into it yeah. um so it's not like oh you get a lead and then it's just gonna close that's not how it happens yeah. there is a process we could spend like a whole hour on it but the biggest thing is you know making sure you have good ground to spend your time calling and then to make sure you know what to say when you're calling these people so understanding how to build rapport how to dig a little bit deeper to figure out their true motivation and then be solutions oriented so you know they might not sell right now maybe it's not the best situation for them to do something right now 
but you can provide them a solution for the future and stay in contact with them. Because we found that the majority of our money is made in the follow-up. Yeah. So follow having a great follow-up. Yeah, process in place is key. Yeah, for sure. Okay, awesome. Um, if you had to attribute one thing to your success, what do you think that one thing is? So I think the one thing is I'm not afraid. So I am a solutions oriented person. So I'm always thinking about the future. I'm always thinking about what's to come and I'm not afraid. Like I take calculated risks because I do research and check everything out, but I don't wait around and contemplate and think forever. I really am action oriented. So I think because I'm solutions oriented and not afraid to jump out there and try things like right now, we, we bought a 360 camera for our listings. We've already started marketing to our sellers that, Hey, we're going to sell your home virtually. So we've taken two listings in the last couple of days. We don't even know all the way how to use the software, but we've already taken pictures, we've uploaded it to the platform, and we're just going with it because we know that right now there are people that still need to sell their homes and they need a virtual solution and we're putting it in place and we're providing that to them without having it all, I guess, put in place. Yeah, yeah. so you're like not afraid to do trial and error, you know? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Super important. I totally agree with that. Um, and one more question before we sign off. What habits do you believe one needs to be a successful realtor? Um, so one, you have to have a schedule. Um, you're, you have, it's, it's more than 70% more chances to be successful mm -hmm. if you write things down and you put them on a schedule. Um, so you have to be, willing to put things down and schedule it. You also have to be willing to have some form of accountability. Um, you're 95% more likely to reach your goals when you're held accountable. So having partnerships, being coachable, um, being open to having that accountability in place. And then the biggest thing that I think you have to have is the willingness to not quit. Um, so many people get in the business and I've seen it over and over and over again. They come in and they're like gung ho. They go hard for a couple of weeks and then they quit. So you have to be consistent. You can't quit. You have to keep pushing. Um, you can't, you have to have thick skin is how I put it. Um, so you can't quit because somebody tells you no, or somebody hangs up on you, or, you know, you had a deal and that was your only deal and it fell out. You have to keep pushing and you have to be consistent. So those are the things that I think somebody needs in order to be successful in this business. Yes, for sure. I totally agree with a lot of what you said. I feel like you really need to have that grit in this kind of industry because there's lots of rejection and you need to be willing to handle that rejection or else you're just not going to make it. So completely agree sure. with what you said. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate all your time. Before we sign off, is there any kind of um, place where our audience can actually find you social media wise or anything like that? If yeah. So yeah. there aren't that many tyranny Jordans. Um, <laughs> so you can look me up and connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm not really on TikTok because I've heard a bunch of stuff about how that platform is like your security is compromised. So check me out on Facebook or Instagram. All right. Perfect. Well, thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you. No problem. All right, All guys. Right. Stay tuned for the next episode.